Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to be explaining clove oil. Clove oil is an easily accessible product you can get in most pharmacies. Um, it is used for anaesthetizing a uh, fish or if you use a high enough dose it can actually euthanize an eel fish. So in the UK um, many of the products that are available elsewhere that are used for euthanizing and anaesthetizing fish are actually illegal. So as far as I'm aware this is the only product you can readily get for this purpose. Now dosage wise I have used this uh, fairly regularly um, to anaesthetize puffer fish. Sometimes they beaks get too long and I've had to cut them and the easiest way of accessing them without them getting too stressed is to knock them out. So dosage that I have found that works really well is one drop of clove oil per one litre of water. Now that is for fish up to about three to four inches. If you need a larger dose for a larger fish then two drops per litre will be sufficient. Never actually use clove oil in your aquarium, always have the fish in a separate container. Now to add clove oil to the container containing the fish that you want to uh, anaesthetize, you will first need to mix clove oil separately because it's an oil, it needs to be mixed in warm water first to create an emulsion. This can then be put into the container with the fish in. After adding the clove oil to the container, the fish will start to um, slow down in its breathing. It will also tend to roll over. Once it's rolled over, then the fish um, is out and you can perform any of the things that you were going to do, i.e. examining or any kinds of minor surgeries or treatments. Now, if you want to euthanize a fish, Generally, um, you leave the fish in the container for a lot longer and use a higher dose, so probably twice the dose that I suggested. Now, clove oil doesn't always euthanize a fish. Some fish can be a bit more um, resistant to it, um, but what it does do is it knocks them out. So if you do want to euthanize your fish in a faster way, this is a great way of putting the fish to sleep so that it doesn't have any stress. Once you have done whatever you wanted to do and you want to wake the fish up, take it out of the container and put it into a container of fresh aquarium water, i.e. stuff you've taken out of your aquarium but doesn't contain clove oil. Um, it will need to have a good flow in there as well, so a separate filter pump. Now, fish recover very very quickly from clove oil and um, within a minute or so even up to five minutes if it's a larger fish the, it will roll back onto its normal way up and be happy and basically won't really know what's just happened to it so good luck in your use of clove oil thank you for watching and happy fish keeping